Now, when you talk about the intensity of the earthquake, you talk about how destructive this earthquake was. For example, the Chile earthquake and the Japan earthquake that recently happened were very, very strong earthquakes. They were ginormous moments of magnitude. However, the intensity is a different factor. The one that happened in Chile didn't, didn't kill that many people because it didn't, it didn't happen. It happened far from populated areas. In areas that were used to earthquakes, the structures were built well and it didn't cause a lot of trouble. The earthquake in Japan, on the other hand, caused a vast tsunami and several other collapses which killed hundreds of thousands of people. And so that was a very, very intense earthquake. Now, the one in Haiti, although it had a very low magnitude compared to these two earthquakes I just talked about, it had a stronger intensity. Intensity is different from magnitude. Don't get them confused. Intensity is talking about how much destruction happens because of earthquakes. And so... The Modern Mafia Mercalli intensity scale is a Roman numeral scale that is used to measure how bad earthquakes actually are, not in the sense of the, of the energy they release or how much ground movement took place, but in the sense of how much damage actually happens. And it goes from a 1, where it's not felt at all and it barely caused any problems, to a 12, where we have total damage, uh, all the lines of sights and levels are destructed, objects are thrown into the air, and the city pretty much gets leveled and thousands and thousands of people will die and so that is an idea of how you can use to measure the intensity of earthquakes in terms of the destructive power that it has and as you can see earthquakes cause destruction in several ways all right but when it comes to talking about the intensity a lot of things will affect how intense an earthquake is first of course how strong it is or the magnitude will definitely matter how much that rock was bent and how much energy released is going to make, be a major factor in determining the intensity of the earthquake. Also, how deep the earthquake was will matter. The deeper the earthquake, the less destructive it is because those waves will have to travel to the surface and will lose power as they do so. So shallow earthquakes tend to be more powerful. Also, if you're far from the actual epicenter of the earthquake, those surface waves will decrease by the time you get to you. And so you're not going to have that much problems. So the distance from the epicenter also will matter. Uh, the local geology matters too. A house built on sand will be much more affected by the earthquake than a house built on stable rock, which is much tougher to bend in a seismic wave scenario. And so the local geology of the land matters, which is why when people are constructing buildings, they, they do geological surveys to make sure that they, the, they build on the right place with the right tools so that in, if an earthquake happens, it won't, it won't cause problems for the, for the person living in the house. Also, how long the earthquake lasts obviously matters. If you have a more exposure, you, you're going to have greater damage from the earthquake. And finally, the infrastructure matters. Haiti's earthquake wasn't that strong. Uh, the, the, it wasn't that shallow. Uh, it, the epicenter was actually close, but not that close to the city. And the local geology was actually rock for most part. The, it, it didn't really last that long, but the human infrastructure was not prepared to deal with the, with the power of the earthquake. The houses were not built appropriately, and that is why so many people died, because they were not ready for an earthquake in that, of that magnitude that happened. All right? On the last video, we're going to be talking about how earth, earthquakes cause destruction, what you can do to keep safe, and what we can do to predict whenever earthquakes will actually take place. I'll see you guys then.